Once Debbie's pregnancy became common knowledge, the tabloid world had one burning question. Did they or didn't they? The, the first two crystal parents is from Debbie, which was natural conception. You, you had sex with Debbie? Yes. I know that's difficult for you, for me to say because you're yeah, so embarrassed. Right <laughs> but you, you actually had sex with her. You can see yes, those children. Yes. From the first moment Debbie learned she was pregnant, Michael warned her of what was to come. He said, you don't know what they can do. And I said, oh, Michael, come on. We're having a baby. Normal people have babies. We're having a baby. Come on. I, how, can, how can that be weird? We're having a kid. That, if anything, that's beautiful. That's wonderful. That's great. Boy, was I wrong. I found out at one point a picture of me pregnant was worth half a million dollars. To who and why? Have they never, ever seen someone pregnant before? Am I supposed to look different pregnant because it's Michael's baby than someone else? As you've heard, the decision to have Michael's child was easy for Debbie. The actual birth was another matter. And we were very excited. Michael was definitely more excited than I was. You know, he was so excited when we had a contraction. And he was there. We had videos, we had music, you know. And it was long, it was 23 hours. And I have a very colorful language. <laughs> and every time I went to say something, Michael would cut me off with, shoot. Or fudge. Oh, he doesn't like cursing. Or <laughs> he didn't think it was necessary yeah. when there were other, other words would do. So, but he was there the whole time. Held my hand. Um, stroked my head. I think I puked once. And I was so embarrassed. And he was like, stop. You're fine. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. I said, I'm going to die. No, you're not going to die. This is great. Okay, we're crowning, you know, and Michael, bam, he's right there. And he goes, oh, my God, this is so beautiful. Now, having come from a medical background, there is no way blood and stuff, there's no way. It's, it can't, it, sorry, I don't come from that background. It's like, Michael, it can't be that beautiful. Oh, he was welling up. And then his son was born. And the look on his face. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'd never seen him that happy. And that's 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 what made it wonderful for me. Was to see the look on his face. The birth of Prince Michael was soon followed by a sister, Paris. Yeah, we kind of told we should wait. You know, I guess there's a waiting, a suggested waiting time. But I was flying to Paris all the time. It's actually how she got her name. That's where she was conceived. Do you not think, though, that your children would benefit from contact with their mother? No, because she doesn't. Uh, it's private information. She doesn't. She's, she, she can't handle it. She can't handle her own children? Yes, it's, I can't reveal that because I don't want to make anybody upset. While Michael may seem reluctant to discuss Debbie's absence from their children, Debbie had no reluctance whatsoever. People don't understand that. And they want a traditional, they, they think that something has to be traditional. And they have this notion of, of beaver cleaver. That's, that wasn't reality in the 50s. And that's not reality, you know, in the 21st century. We have a non-traditional family. And if it makes people uncomfortable, it's a shame that they're not more open. We are a family unit. Michael and I will always be connected with the kids. I will always be there for him. I will always be there for the children. And people make remarks, oh, I can't believe she left her children left them. I left my children. Do not leave my children. My children are with their father. Where they're supposed to be. She's 
you prefer them doing with me than with her? So, this mother carries both children for nine months mm -hmm. in her body, okay. and she gives birth to them, mm -hmm. and she prefers that they have nothing to do with her. Mm -hmm. Split up because I... They got to a point where I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't deal with the fact I couldn't go to the grocery store for two reasons. One, I'd get followed. Two, I'd have to look at crap on the newsstands that are right as the, at the register as you go out that wasn't true. You know, I, I, I wasn't used to it. I like doing things for myself. Um, Michael's more than generous. He said, we don't have to go to the grocery store. But I want to. I really want to. I want to go back to what I can go back to. That was what I was used to. That's where I'm comfortable. Doing this is very uncomfortable for me. Talking about these things is extremely uncomfortable for me. But it's hard when you're an entertainer, you know. It's hard to have a marriage and... Uh... I mean, one day I'll be married again, but it's too soon. I went through two tough divorces. So I'm married to my fans. I'm married to God. I'm married to my children. I'm married to life. One of the things that I noticed about you over the last year is your relationship with your children. And I have to say to you, and I didn't know you before, and you haven't put on a front, your relationship with your children is spectacular. I love them. <laughs> and in fact, it's... It almost makes me weep when I see you with them because your interaction with them is just so natural, so loving, That's so lovely. caring. Thank you so much. And everybody who ever comes into contact with you knows that. I'm crazy. I would die for them. I mean, I'm crazy about them. And I tell them. I look into their eyes every day. I make sure I do it. I say, look at me. I say, I love you very much. Yeah. What they actually say to you is they love you and you say I love you more. That's yeah. what you say every yeah. single time. That, right? That's your phrase and I've heard it. I've heard it once. I've heard it a million times. Yeah, and um, they say they say such sweet things sometimes. Like, and I didn't tell them to say it. They say it all the time. Like Prince will come to me and say, Daddy, thank you for giving me a brother. All the time. You know, parents will say that too. Thank you for giving us a brother. Yeah, you know, and uh, I would like to have more too. When Martin Bashir arrived to film Michael and his children, Bashir was immediately confronted with one of the major worries of celebrity parents, the horrible danger of kidnapping. Consequently, as a security measure, public appearances by Michael's children require that their faces be hidden behind masks or veils. Because you don't let anybody I don't see let, the children. Look, I don't want, no. I don't so want a Lindbergh baby. Somebody no. took Lindbergh's baby, Charles Lindbergh's baby, took him in the forest and burned him to death. Okay, so I don't want that to happen to my children. I don't want people seeing them. Because the press are, they can be very mean. I don't want them to grow up psychologically crazy because of the evil things they can say to them. I want them to be normal. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Right? It does. It does. Take, for example, what happened in Germany where there was a huge outcry. Yeah. And you suffered a great deal of negative comment in the press. Yeah. Was there no one in your group who said, Michael, even though you're not going to damage your child mm -hmm. and you would never harm your child, but Michael, if you dangle blanket over a balcony, you are going to be severely criticised. No, because... Was there no one in the room who would say, Michael, don't my do it? My governesses were up there. And they didn't say No. No, because was, I was holding that baby strong, hard, tight. No, that's exactly and, what I'm saying, though. You know, and I know better. And, and I've seen... You know better. ...people that flip their kids up in the air and do somersaults and catch them. And, you know, I get caught up in the moment. It's holding on tight. I just let them give away. And, uh, but, this is, and it happened for like two seconds. But when it gets on the news, they slow it down. They don't show the crowd. They make me like, I'm this eccentric idiot dangling his baby over a balcony like a nut. Mm -hmm. Governess was up there, security was up there, other people. I took my other children up there and did the same thing. Like I said before, he's very proud of his children, you know? And 
to listen to his fans all night long. They're so adoring and so loving and loyal. And they'll be there all night. And they wanted to see the little one. And he showed them the little one. Nothing inappropriate. May not have been the best thing he's ever done in his life, <laughs> but certainly I think it was made too big a deal of. Even now you're happy that you dangled yeah. him over the... Not happy that I dangled him over the balcony, no. You're I'm not happy, happy that I let the kids no, but give that... a wave to him. 